Virus destroyed your system. Hard drive corrupted. Can't even boot. Locked out of Windows because you forgot your password. These eight rescue operating system tools on the Ultimate USB version 2.1 can bring it back from the dead. Let's check them out. If you're not familiar with the Ultimate USB version 2.1, definitely check that out. Link in the description. The product should be tagged here. This USB has everything. Over 50 bootable environments spanning across 13 categories. You've got antivirus and rescue, desktop OS, flyweights, forensics, games where you have a couple of arcades, run emulators and ROMs, hypervisors, miscellaneous tools, multi-tools, win PE repair environments, network tools, pen testing and offensive security for all of you hacker nuts out there, privacy and security featuring tails amongst others. If you're down to go browse the dark web, obviously do that at your own risk, but stay anonymous with an operating system like tails included along with others on this USB Server OS, a few different operating systems there, and then I include some really nice Windows installation media. All right, check it out. Follow the series. I'm going category by category. I've also got a couple videos kind of highlighting the whole thing at a high level. Back to the show. All right, today we are in the multi-tools WinPE repair rescue category of the Ultimate USB version 2.1. First up on the list in this category is OnkTech Emergency Operating System V6. When we go to boot this, you're going to see three different options. Emergency OS 11, Emergency OS 10 Lite, and Emergency OS 10. I'm just going to boot the Win 11 version of this now, and we'll take a quick look around. All right, this is what you get when you boot into the Windows 11 version of OnkTech Emergency OS. Very clean, very stripped down, very light, and very fast. Right here on the desktop, we have some impressive applications, including... HW Info, where you can view all the information about your hardware. You've got Lantern VPN, Win to USB, Easy BCD, Driver Booster, Aomi Partition Assistant, and more. Let's look at what else is jam packed into this guy. If you go to All Programs, you see that OnkTech does an amazing job, just like he does on all of the different operating systems that he puts out. If you guys haven't checked them out, I will definitely either put it on the screen or in the description. Get over to his site. This guy's totally underrated. He built some incredible WinPE environments and stripped down light, powerful operating systems. All right, starting at the top here, accessories. I'm not going to read every one of these, but just again, look at everything that OnkTech jam packs into these. He's got a bunch of different boot tools here, a whole slew of disk tools, things for file tasks, games. Nice touch, OnkTech. Hardware tools, multimedia, network, network tools, office, where he included free office, along with Sumatra PDF and XCHM, system tools, general tools, and Windows tools. So whatever your issue is you're having, Emergency OS is a great starting point to come in here and get some help. Let's take a look at the next one. All right, the next tool is also made by OnkTech. This is his PE, one of his PE environments. Just like the emergency OS, he gives you three options here. You've got a full, a tiny, and a whatever the other one was called. Three different flavors, essentially of the same thing. They're all super lightweight, so I'm going to boot into the full. And once again, OnkTech is on point with the way that he lays this out. He's got a lot of cool stuff right here on the desktop. And then he has this awesome P start bar that comes up automatically on the right side of the desktop and lays things out very sweet, all different categories. You can button these down, get into whatever it is that you're trying to do and complete the task at hand. So this is one that I featured this PE environment. I featured this in a couple other videos on how to get yourself back into your computer if you're locked out because you forgot your password. It's nothing to be embarrassed about. It happens all the time. And it really depresses me, quite frankly, to see people, especially elderly people and people who just don't know technology very well, go down to you know places like Geek Squad and pay upwards of $200 to have them do something that takes literally five minutes. But I get it. I mean, if you're locked out of your computer and you're you know, personal files are on here. Some people's livelihoods are on here. 
you can't get back in, yeah, you're going to pay whatever. It's almost like a ransom. You're going to have to pay whatever they're asking, right? But with a tool like this, included with thousands of other tools on this USB, you have the capability to come in here and run a simple password changer. There's more than one on here, by the way, guys. But I, like I said, I featured this in other videos. You essentially go next. You can search across all the volumes or you can select the volume with your operating system. Next, find it. I think my drives are... I don't know if I left BitLocker on or not, but let's try this. Okay, we'll search my SAM file. No, okay, I unencrypted it. So I could go in here, take this account, and simply go next. And now I can just set password never expires and clear this user's password. That's literally all you have to do. Upon reboot, your system would come back up. And guess what? You don't even need a password. It'll just sign in automatically. And then you're back into your system, saving you over $200 a geek squad would charge you. And you don't have to hear all their crap about, oh, buy our antivirus, buy our subscriptions, blah, blah, blah. It's all a burn, guys. Don't take your computer to Geek Squad. But yeah, that's one tool of very many in this PE environment. And this right here, I mean, it's worth the price of admission, right? You buy the USB, you do this for one family member or friend, and you get them back into a computer. You just more than save double the amount that you paid for the USB. Trust me. I know people who have taken their computers into repair shops, Geek Squad, blah, blah, blah. They're going to charge you an arm and a leg for something that literally takes five minutes. And that's just one example. We'll quickly go through some of these. Just look at what all he has jam-packed in here. He's got it under all programs, just like he's got it laid out here. A little bit different for categories. Yeah, we're not going to button all these down. Just know that this is one that I recommend to a lot of friends who are needing a PE environment for different tasks. I said, if you want a good little one-stop PE environment, definitely boot into the OnTech PE. That guy is a beast. And quite frankly, I think he's very underrated in the space. So let's get his name out there. Shout out OnTech. All right, let's take a look at the next environment. All right, next up, a classic. Here in Boot CD. This one is a legend. Here in Boot CD PE edition, particularly Windows 11 this time. Updated for modern systems. It includes trusted tools like Malwarebytes, AOMI Backer Upper, partition managers, and password reset tools. If you've ever worked in IT, you already know. Herens gets the job done. Similar to the other environments, jam-packed, different tools, different categories, you name it, Herens probably has it. All right, all programs. It's got some accessibilities, different accessories administrative tools, very clean layout, very Windows looking for lack of a better term there. There's your uh, boot utilities, BCD, MBR tools, driver management, hard disk tools, including some subcategories here, diagnostics, imaging, partitioning, security, with an eraser tool you saw there, networking tools, other tools, some randos, PowerShell, recovery, Removable drive tools, security. Let's see if we have a password. Yep, we have a password, a couple different password recovery or password eraser utilities, system tools, nice little collection here, and then Windows recovery. So like I said, this one's a legend. Might not have as much as something like OnTech or Medicat has, but it has all the fundamentals and the name has been around forever. If you're in IT, you've heard of Herons. Let's check out the next one. All right, next up on the list is Medicat. Medicat is like Herons' younger, faster cousin with a modern UI and massive toolkits. From malware removal to hardware diagnostics, it's built for today's systems with a fresh interface and fast loading times. Perfect for techs who need everything right there and no digging. So Medicat has become extremely well-known, very popular, cool little cat image there. I've seen all kind of variations of that. That's a nice one. Antivirus category, backup and recovery category, boot repair cover 
category. Diagnostic tools, live OSs, partition tools, password removals, and Windows recovery. So this is actually a USB that the makers of Metacat crafted via Ventoy, similar to what I do with the Ultimate USB. Um, so I had to capture an image file of Metacat and include it as an image on this Ventoy. So it's like a Ventoy inside of a Ventoy inside of a Ventoy. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty cool though. So like what I'm getting at is these would be different folders in Ventoy. Um, and they are, they're just wrapped in another Ventoy. So antivirus, it's got malware bytes, backup and recovery, a whole bunch. Boot repair, nice little collection, diagnostic tools. And you see like diagnostic tools, you had another environment in there, right? Like ultimate boot CD. So these are environments inside of an environment, inside of an environment. Partitioning tools. All kinds of good stuff there. Shred OS, we saw that earlier in another video I did. Password removal, it's got one there. J Rose Lockpit, Gyros Lockpit, however you say that. Or maybe it's High Rose. <laughs> if you guys have been following me for any amount of time, you know that I am infamous for butchering everything as far as pronunciation. All right, and then he's got some Windows recovery environments for Windows 8, Windows 10, and Windows 11. So like I said, very well-rounded tool, a lot of different categories, very customized, beautiful wallpaper, love the little cat mascot, not a fan of cats, but in this case, it's very cool. Um, yeah, and the icons, a lot of work went into it, obviously. So big shout out to the folks over at Medicat. Thanks for an amazing tool. Let's check out the next one. Now this one is a backup master. RescueZilla gives you fast, visual, image-based backups and restores. Perfect for full system recovery. You can back up an entire disk, compress it, and restore it anytime, even to different hardware. As you see here, you got a backup option, a restore option, a clone option, and even a verify image option. It looks like they've added a image explorer, which is in beta. I'm assuming, yeah, you could drill down into the image and look maybe at the file system level. Outside of that, it does have a few tools built in here. You have Gparted, you've got a terminal, uh, mouse pad, but essentially the meat and potatoes of RescueZilla is RescueZilla. Under accessories, they've put a few things in here. Other, that's where you'll find Gparted. They've got a browser in Firefox. Hardware Lister, Photograph Deep Scan. Oh, look at a utility there for creating bootable USBs. But if you need a powerful solution for creating uh, image level backups and restoring and validating images, RescueZilla is a solid choice. Let's take a look at the next one. Next up on the list, Sergey Strelek, which comes with four different options, uh, really three. You've got search and start Windows 7, 8, 10, 11, boot WinPE 11, and boot WinPE 10 versions of Sergey Strelak. I'm going to go with the 11 today. Let's check it out. Sergey Strelak is a power user's dream. A monster WinPE packed with tools for file recovery, disk cloning, partition repair, antivirus, password resets, and even remote control software. It works on both legacy BIOS and modern UFI systems. One of the most comprehensive and complete environments available. All right, so as you can see, similar to Onctex WinPE, you've got some really nice handy utilities right here on the desktop for you. And then you're gonna have some more stuff here under Programs WinPE, a whole bunch of stuff, by the way. Backup and restore, hard disk tools, diagnostics, Windows installation, network, remote access and VPN tools, data recovery, boot loader or BCD editors and utilities. Having a problem booting? Check out this category. Windows recovery environment, drivers, formatting, utilities, resetting passwords, defragmentation. Not sure that's that relevant anymore, but it's there. Hex editor, very relevant. Video, audio, graphics, little multimedia action, documents, file managers, search files, CD utilities, antivirus, system, 
console utilities and communication. That is a very comprehensive list of categories and utilities for a WinPE environment. And it loaded fast. I mean, yeah, can't say enough good things about Sergey Strelak. Onktech, uh, amazing as well. I don't know. What's your vote? Who's got the best WinPE environment? Sergey Strelak or is it Onktech? Or do you like one of the other ones that we've seen? Either way, I can tell you this. You're not going to go wrong booting into Sergey Strelak's WinPE environment. Let's check out the next one. All right, next up, System Rescue. Okay, definitely less known than some of the big names that we just ran through, like Sergey Strelak, Herens, Metacat, Onktech, but maybe you prefer Linux-based recovery. System Rescue gives you full command line and graphical tools for fixing broken file systems, recovering deleted files, or checking for failing hardware. This is perfect for servers or dual boot Linux Windows machines. You can run a graphical user interface or boot into the GUI by typing start X. And here you have it, very lightweight, uh, minimalistic Linux, obviously, but it is a nice little rescue environment. Not as comprehensive or jam packed as the rest of the tools that we've looked at today. But again, if you prefer getting into Linux, to perform your task for recovery, definitely check out System Rescue. There you have it. It's got the bare minimum. It's got some of the fundamentals. If you prefer Linux, it might be the one for you. All right, let's check out the last one on the list. All right, last but not least, WinPE. This is just a vanilla WinPE of Windows 11 that I include on here in case you need to Use a WinP environment that is not modified. Maybe you're at a corporation, something like that, where you're not allowed to use third-party software. This is a legitimate WinPE environment from Windows. Not a lot to this one, guys. Uh, if you're familiar with WinPE, this is about as vanilla as it gets. Uh, you can run different commands. You can look through file systems, all that type of stuff. Do, you know, diagnostics. You got to use the command prompt for the most part. Probably wouldn't recommend this one, again, unless you have a situation where you're not allowed to use any tools that are not strictly from Microsoft. This was created directly with Microsoft tools based off Microsoft's uh, version of Windows. Nothing modified, nothing third party intervened with. So it's there if you need it. Let me know what your favorite WinPE or rescue bootable environment is in the comments, please. I'd be very interested. For me, I think it's gonna be Onktech, probably very closely followed by Sergey Strelek. Both incredibly solid, but there were a lot of incredibly solid picks on this list. Did I miss any? Let me know, guys. Appreciate you checking out the video. If you haven't checked out the USB yet, get over to bootableusbs.com and check that out today. I hope you all have a great day, and until the next video, take care.